can I say, it's nice that people actually remember that we had a Queen and it's an end of an era really because we're not, not, I'm probably not going to see a Queen in my lifetime uh, and you're probably not to, in your lifetime, it's going to be Kings all the while isn't it now? Because there's Prince Charles, William and then George. So. I think people have been quite respectful, lots of shops are closing, lots of flowers out, they've got this beautiful display behind us showing respect to Her Majesty. Okay. Um, I think, yes, I've been mourning, um, been very sad, very difficult week I think. Um, I think Peterborough has paid the respects well, I was really proud and pleased to see that the Cathedral Square was full for the pro um, proclamation of the King. I'm um, really sad that I wasn't able to take part at that time, but yeah, things have been great. I think the mood has been a little bit lower in town. It's been an extraordinary sense of um, reflective feeling, um, sad, sense of sorrow, um, thanks, thanksgiving as well though, very mixed emotions I think people have. I certainly have. Yeah, um, I went down yesterday with my sister and my niece. Um, we joined the queue at 10.18 and managed to get our wristbands. And we exited Westminster Hall 11 hours and seven minutes later. <laughs> the queue is absolutely fantastic. Um, quite emotional day. Still feel, sorry, quite emotional. Um, so proud to have done it. Uh, the people on the, in the queue were amazing. Um, it was just one of those things that I felt like we had to do. No, but I have friends that have gone down and they were in there for nearly 12 hours. Yes. Got to walk past and they were interviewed for CBS News in America as well. So No, I've sadly not been to London. You know, the cathedral has been out of focus here and we've been trying to make it available and open for as many people as possible in the city. I think it's done enough. Um, I think it's been done respectfully. Of the picture of the Queen. Um, it's nice to see that we haven't got heaps and heaps of flowers. Um, I think that personally, people would be better to give money for charity rather than lay flowers. Um, and yeah, I think everyone does what they can now in the times that they're in. You know, very difficult financially. Very right because everybody, everybody remembers what the Queen was about and. I mean, for 70 years, she has been the statesman of the country, hasn't she? And she's um, shown everybody how to act, and, and she's done it with dignity. So, we've had lots of uh, there's, there's places, public places, to lay flowers, like candles, to say prayers. Um, you know, this is a time when life must go on, but also at the same time to reflect deeply on where we are. He has done quite a lot for the Queen. Peter has done quite a lot got the church service going on and then all the pubs will be showing live funeral on Mondays first Wellington and Oxford showing live cathedral showing live as well you've got flowers and yeah actually that's why the veterans are turning up today to do some sort of appreciation for the Queen three o'clock nobody else seems to have organized it so the veterans did at home watching the funeral together. We're doing our shopping today to make sure that we can just be at home tomorrow watching it. So. Tomorrow I'll be watching the funeral um, with my husband, my son and um, daughter-in-law and granddaughter as a family and then we're hoping to perhaps go out for something to eat together afterwards to celebrate our Queen. Uh, well, tomorrow morning we'll be at the cathedral, we're streaming the service and we'll be uh, inviting as many people as you wish to come and share with us in that corporate recognition of thanksgiving and some prayer. In some ways yes, in some ways no, but some people wouldn't have had the opportunity to see the Queen's funeral, and, but I know I do feel sorry for the NHS that they've got to go to work. But it's a difficult one, really, isn't it? I know I've got tomorrow off, but 
I don't know really, to be honest. That's Absolutely correct. I work in the NHS and um, I was a little bit disappointed that um, people had to make a decision on whether they're prepared to work or not and I decided I didn't want to. I want to I've done the best that I can for the NHS and my manager supported me to allow me to have tomorrow off. Um, yeah, so I think it is really important that there is a national holiday for it. My, my, I think these moments happen once in history uh, and uh, there, there is a real deep need, I think, for the whole nation to come together at this time as far as we possibly can. It is right, because everybody needs to mourn and everybody needs a day off to show that they're mourning the Queen that's been in the rain for over 70 years. Because everybody's um, people that have gone down to London, they've queued nicely just to see the coffin, and it is nice to see that everybody is joined together in mourning of the Queen. So. I'm really surprised actually about how big it was because I didn't know that it. I guess none of us have seen a state funeral before, so you don't realise what a big event it is and how. I didn't realise it affected me as much as what it did either because kind of taken for granted. Absolutely. Um, one of the nicest things yesterday about being in the queue was actually seeing all the police officers, the fire service down in London, the volunteers who were absolutely amazing. Um, I think everyone um, has shown the true gr um, grit of Britain and what we're great at, you know, and all of the nations have been involved. Lovely to see people of every nationality and from every country in the world, world in that queue yesterday. Sorry. That, crew, that queue has been emotional for you, hasn't it? Yeah. It's, yeah. I think it's done enough to show the Queen that we're proud of her. I think there's been that extraordinary outpouring of grief. Um, we've seen how many people have been in the queues. Um, we, I think, yes, I think people have, have really honoured that, the, the extraordinary transition, historical moment we're in.